This is my lifter circuit. When I first started building lifters, I had some problems with the electronics. Um, so I, I, I tried to, to do one of my own designs here. So we have our lifter circuit that is composed of uh, mostly Radio Shack parts. All these parts you see here are from Radio Shack. You can purchase them. Uh, these three parts, the metal oxide varistors and the transistor, you'll have to get separately, as well as the transformer. Uh, we have our aluminum lifter with guide rail. You can see it powered. And it'll hover. The length it's tethered by strings. Uh, we're going to look at the it's an overview of the schematic. We're also going to look at the power. We have it. Uh, we're drawing 23 watts according to the kilowatt meter 2324 that's how much power it takes to get that lifter uh, off the ground and then cut power to the lifter overview of the supply we've got a radio shack transformer that goes from 120 to 24 volts AC with two taps of 12 volts so you can have 12 volt or 20, 24 combined we'll utilize both uh, we send 12 of the volts to the 22 volt DC uh, bridge rectifier and that will power our oscillator circuit that's uh, tuned to 15 kilohertz that's needed for the flyback transformer you'll be selecting that operating frequency with a 3 kilo ohm resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor so the, uh, the output of the op amp circuit this is an LM386 uh, and it will be uh, driving a one-to-one -one audio isolation transformer. Uh, here we'll look, at, we'll look at the components. We've got the, uh, the transformer, the rectifier. It's a thousand microfarad cap. Uh, this is a uh, the point one microfarad in the three kilo ohm feedback. Power transistor with. Two moths. Okay, then here, here. HV transformer is here, and then we tie that back to the forty-four volt DC supply.